Welcome everyone, Simon here. Um, tonight I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of the Rhino War Panniers. Um, so I put a video up already which was my luggage choices I was looking to do and sort of budget luggage for my KLR 2022 650 model. Um, and I ended up using a Gen 2 KLR rear tail bag which I mounted sandwiched between the rear tail plate. KLR Gen 3 tail bag mod. Take one cheap Gen 2 bag. This one came free with the bike. I didn't like it as far as how it strapped on because it never did strap on properly. Um, then just remove the rear plate on the Gen 3. Put some holes in the bottom of the bag. Push it all on. All the original mounting hardware, the bolts still fit. You just got to push a little bit. And you've got a nice bag and it still works as far as opening up to be a more expandable bag. Um, and then I... After they going back and forth, I end up resting on the Rhino Walk 48 litre rackless panniers. Um, so I end up getting these from uh, Adventure On Store. Um, so they're really good to deal with. I could find them online on AliExpress, really cheap, months wait, post, a couple of months wait postage. Found them on Amazon, Deera, another Aussie site, a bit more expensive, but the best value was the Adventure On Store. Um, I actually emailed a few emails to them, rang Nelson, the gentleman there, and chatted to him a few times uh, about their website, the different things they have on there. They've got a really good range of things from tyres all the way to different luggage, um, accessories, clothing, all, everything they had there, and they had really good pricing on these. So these are the 48 litre, I mean, the biggest ones, the 48 litre Rackless Pannier system. I was tossing up whether I went the different, some other scenarios, some ADV bags they've got, but they really required racks, whereas I've just got the adventure model bars more so, so they, they just hold them off the plastic. So I went the rackless scenario, and the 48 litre one was 219 Aussie dollars. So you're looking at around your 160, something like that American. Um, so I went with that. Um, then I also went with their tank harness. Um, so there's another one there, Krieger or Krieger, they make a similar one, which is probably 20% dearer. Um, but I feel really like the five-way molly system. Um, so they've got five five straps basically um, on the tank harness. So this is how it comes. So it comes very well see for the Venture On Store. Um, only a couple of days delivery. We've had a long weekend here in Australia in Melbourne. Um, so timing-wise, took a little bit longer because I was away as well. So we'll just get this opened up and have a little look. It's obviously really nice packaging from Rhino Works themselves, Rhino Walk themselves. Okay, so that looked really nice. Nice box. Has some information on that as far as use and all that. So, waterproof, and we went the large, the 48 litre ones. So we'll unbox these, a bit of a look. Okay, so he's chucked the tank harness in the top, which is great. It stays on packaging, it all fits in there well. Also thrown in a freebie by the looks from the Adventure On store, which is always nice. So as I said, this Nelson gentleman Really nice to chat with, answers all my questions. He was floating around ideas with me as well. And we both settled on really for the KLR to be beneficial. And the best scenario really for what I was looking at um, is the 48 litre Rackless. So he really just reinforced what I was already thinking. So this is a, there we go. Like your neck item, I think it is. Balaclava type thing. That'll be cool. That'll go on the bike. Um, so I'll look at the panniers first, then we'll have a look at that one. So also I got the guard. I don't know they really need it, but it's got the heat shield, the heat guard. So this was 26 bucks, I think, 25, 26 Aussie dollars or 30 Aussie dollars, something like that. Um, I didn't mind the look of it anyway. And my Delcovic exhaust is the 18 inch barrel one, which actually sticks out a fair way. It's the longest part of the vehicle, of the motorbike. So this might be good on there anyway, just to stop anything rubbing up against that. So we'll have a look at that as well later. So that's it. But really nice packaging. I like these sort of boxes that sort of show you a bit about everything on there. Um, 
So this will be the unboxing, have a quick look at it. Then I'll do an intro on the bike and then obviously I'll do a review after a trip away with it and all that sort of stuff because there's no reviews on the net. The only reviews on there are by Rhino Walk themselves. And I found one gentleman in America who did a review on a KLR, which wasn't too bad, but he was mainly riding his bike on the road on a cruise. So it wasn't really as realistic. All right, so first impressions. They are quite nice and thick as I would have thought material and fabric wise. So they feel quite good. Look the nice hard bands on the top for when you roll them down. Um, that is printed on the top. The reflective is printed on the top. Yep, so it's printed on top. It's actually um, it's reflective and a little bit clippy. I also like the rear, and they say up to 160 degrees Celsius or something. So it's actually sort of air pockets in here. Um, and that's what'll rest. You've then got your nice handles. So they're not a bad size. So these are cinched right down, so I'll just loosen these off. So obviously 24 litres each. And they're quite large. So you've got a decent volume going down in there. And then once you Hold them down. Yeah, they're pretty good. That's obviously one of them, which then connects with the other. I also like, to, you see this on the other videos, like the actual videos from the manufacturer, little tabs so when your buckles do sit, if you're actually against any plastic or against any frame, there's a decent pad, look really thick, the same material, and a thicker material than the actual units themselves. It's really quite thick. You can see there you're, you're hitting about a mil, mil and a half thickness of fabric, some sort of thick fabric stuff that they actually sit onto. So what do they tell us on the box? Fasten the buckles, doesn't really go into too much detail about that. The large ones there, so they're 49 centimetre by 20 by 25, so they're almost cylindrical as you go down the foot, so, foot sort of shape. And weight 2.4 kilos. So 2.4, yeah, feels not too bad. Um, Again, comes with more information here. They really promote the waterproof. These obviously are the waterproof dry bag scenario. Um, so that'll be quite good. So that's about as much as you can really see here. Out of the box, happy with it. Can't see any imperfections or issues with any of the seam welding. It's all nicely seam welded. Um, nice things where there's no excess glue. Sometimes they have the excess glue runoff where they didn't put too, they put too much on when they then press sealed it on. But they look quite good. And the buckles seem good. Yeah, every single one where there is those four clips, you've got that extra bit of thick material. So yeah, so they're a success so far. So we'll chuck them on the bike sometime over the weekend, hopefully. Um, so again, they're 219 for the 48 litre ones. Um, this is exhaust, which is around 30 bucks. Exhaust shield, so we'll pop that open and have a quick look. Fairly basic bit of kit, but as I said, the Delcovic sticks out about that much further past the plastic and extends to the brakes equal with the brake. So it's quite a... Nice, so it stands it off about 15 mil. Rhino walk. And of course, you come with your big strap that you can then cut once you've got that on. So that'll look quite nice. And then finally was the tank bag. So uh, the tank harness. So the tank harness is 54 bucks. So you can see here they promote um, where you can put on part of their ADV range, like from 6 litre all the way up to like 15 litre. Um, bags, but I really wanted it mainly for the actual Molly setup. So you can see here you've got five, five banks of Molly setup. Um, now we'll see whether I'm going to fit two of the bags. So this is where it ends for Rhino Walk. What I actually got from Rhino Walk, obviously here's the straps for these. Then I also got um, two Molly bags um, from Evatac, an Aussie store that sells them, and they might fit. So we'll see how they go. So obviously, where you have the camera, you're the front of the bike. So these are a different company, um, Evatac. They do a lot of gym bags, almost like your dry bags, your Osha, Osha bags and all that sort of stuff, but they're gym bags. And this is actually not too bad a sizing. So you can see these basic molly bags. I wanted them so that you can just put muesli bars, snacks, whatever, in front of you on the tank. So very simple, uh, quite tiny. Uh, obviously my phone's going to be my GPS, so they, obviously they can hold a phone in the front, so it's designed for probably. And I wanted it simple, so even with your glove on while you're riding, unzip one. 
or just rip this up, grab a muesli bar out, grab a bit of a snack, whatever it might be. And being, so these are two straps of two banks wide, so it will work. I'll be able to put one there, bang. And then I've got a second one, which I want to put in my small hiking first aid kit. Um, so one of those small first aid kits you get for hiking, lightweight. And it's about this size. Um, so that can then sit in the second molly bag right there. So we fit perfect. So you can imagine on the front of the bike, they fit spot on there, um, your two bags. So, and this will also have like my um, preload adjustment for the front forks or anything like that, or the rear forks, the rear shocks to be able to adjust all that. Um, Cause I've got some YSS shocks to go in, shock to go in the rear and YSS full rebuild kit for the front. Um, so that's a future video. If you're interested in seeing those, I'll do that. But yeah, these should be quite good. So I'm impressed with how they'll fit. And again, these are waterproof as well. Um, so that's perfect. So EvaTac for those. So these were 32 bucks each, which I thought wasn't too bad. They're quite a well-made product. They're pretty much, and they've got extra molly on the front. Um, and I've ordered a first aid symbol patch, Velcro patch to go on there. So people, anyone will know that's where first aid is if it did come off. Um, but yeah, 4D ring fixing points on each side, additional multiple insert slots, carry, easy design carry more. So they don't really mention molly system, but obviously it is the standard molly system. And yeah, 54.95. So our tank is pretty much 55. Well, so we're sitting around 110 bucks for our tank, and it's more the tank bag style I want. I didn't want anything big at all. So that's tank bag is about 110 bucks we're sitting at. Rear panniers with the heat shield was say 250, and my free bag that came with the bike, the Series 2 bag, which I've put a little video up already of how I've mounted that. So that's everything. So we'll leave it there. Next video, if you're interested, um, feel free to hit like and subscribe to keep seeing these. We've just got this KLR. I put a video up previously of all the parts I've purchased because I got the bike quite cheap, um, very good value. So I had you know, three to $4,000 to spend on accessories. So I've sort of gone all the way up um, on all the things I've worked, researched over the years and wanted to do. Um, biggest in that obviously being rear shock, upgrading that as well, all the front suspension, SRC moto, crash bars, uh, bash plate. Um, and headlight protectors coming soon. I'm just waiting for them to bring their crash bars back into stock because they re-engineered them slightly. But we'll leave it there. This is really about these. So Rhino Walk, so for those interested, keep following because I'll do videos to show you because I just thought for the price I'll gamble on it, then I'll make the videos so you guys can make an educated choice as to whether these bags might suit you. So we'll leave it there. Thank you. Cheers, guys.